No, this isn't the controller for the Google Stadia, although at this stage, I kind of wish I maybe did pre-order it. This is my PlayStation controller, where I was thinking I was going to do some serious gaming, only to find that my wife had other ideas, she's having a little snooze in that room. But that's okay, because what I did was enabled remote play on my PlayStation, and now install the app on my Android phone. This means I can play my PlayStation games from virtually anywhere in the house. If you want to know how I did it, what are the basic steps, don't worry, I got you. Let me show you a very quick video of what you need to do to get this working. Oh, and I'm going to show you how to pair your PlayStation controller with your Android phone as well. Let me show you how it's done. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Leron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks on how to, Hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So to activate remote play, what you have to do is actually play with two settings. Most people leave out one or the other, which is why it doesn't work. So on your PlayStation, go into settings, go into account management, scroll down until you see activate as your primary PS4. That needs to be active. Activate that. Great. Now go back to your main menu. And as you scroll further down, what you're looking for is the remote play. And that is underneath mobile, there we go, remote play connection settings. Go into that and make sure that is active. Enable remote play, it's got to have a little tick mark next to it so it's ready to go. So then the next step is to download the PS4 remote play from the Play Store. Click the start button once that's done. You make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network and then there it is. You're going to have full control of your PlayStation from your phone. It even mimics the actual controller on your device itself. So you can see here I'm changing games simply by tapping around on the phone. And if you hold it in landscape mode, you actually get to see more of the screen on your phone. But the big question is, how does it handle playing a game? And the answer is absolutely terrible this is just a ridiculous experience especially for first person shooter games this is just awkward weird uncomfortable and just eh, not a thing but wait there is more here is how you can really start enjoying your mobile remote play what you're gonna do is take your controller you're gonna hold the share and the playstation button you're gonna hold them together for a little bit until you see a flashing light in the front there we go now it's in bluetooth pairing mode Take your phone, pair it, add it like you would any other Bluetooth device, find wireless controller and pair it. Now we're talking. Now you don't have to use the phone as your controller, but you use the phone as your screen. Does it make a difference? Well, let's find out. So go into the app, start the process, let it connect to your PlayStation. Now, once that's made that connection, you're going to see the on-screen controller, which is just weird. I'm going to put it into my high-tech stand here between my knees. And let's just double check that it's working. Yeah, there we go. I can control it. Now, can you play a game? Well, let's take a bit of a better shot at this. I put in a little stand. I got my controller. And now, let's see what the gameplay is like. Okay, that's much, much better. You'll notice there's a bit of a lag, right? You'll notice the screen flicking a little bit. But that is to be expected, especially if you're far away from your PlayStation. It's going to go travel around your network. And this is actually pretty darn awesome that not so much there we go now you can play your playstation from virtually anywhere if you like this video and you want to see some other cool playstation wi-fi stuff check out some of these other cool videos down here if it's your first time hit the head below to subscribe give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you in those videos let's go